I'm Raven, and I'm here at Mix Space Cambridge with my good friend, Diana Probst, who you may remember from earlier videos. And I'm here to make use of your drawing machine once again. My drawing machine is very much at your disposal, Raven. It is. You'll be wondering, what the diddle I'm going to do with the drawing machine? Well, let me tell you. For Christmas this year, I wanted to create a present that was truly unique and also very individual to both myself and the recipient. So, how about a sound wave of my voice along with the phonetic spelling and syllable spelling of the recipient's name? It's fairly unique, but I don't just want to print out some sound wave on a bit of paper. Mm -mm -mm. I want this in metallic. The only way to do that would be with foil printing or some sort of a very expensive machining process. Unless there was some way you could do it with a metallic pen. Ah, but there's no way I could do all those sound waves accurately by hand. Good thing I know someone who has a machine that can draw. The machine works by essentially drawing a vector line onto a piece of paper. But of course you've got to be able to create that vector line in the first place. You need the sound wave, you need the phonetic spelling, you need the syllable spelling. Well, here's how I did it. The first step is to create a list of all the people that you want to create cards for. Then, take those names and run them through an international phonetic alphabet translator. The IPA is a means of pronouncing words without any particular language in mind. There are certain special characters that rather than being things such as that, peanut or apple are actual sounds that your voice makes. Ch, th, p, w. Do that for every single name and you'll have yourself everything that you need. Oh, except for the sound wave. This is the easy bit. Record your voice saying the name. Be careful not to slow your words or you'll end up with a very messy bar. Rather than saying Anthony Edmonds, say Anthony Edmonds. And that way you'll get a more interesting waveform. Don't stress it too much though, otherwise it may look really stupid, like Anthony Edmonds will just look ridiculous. Once you've recorded your voice, trim it down to just the voice. Don't leave any blanks at the beginning or the end. You just want the waveform of your voice. So, we have the name, which I'm sure you can work out the syllables, Anthony Edmonds. If you need help, ask an adult. We have the IPA spelling, and we have the sound. But we don't have the waveform. How do you get the waveform? If you record your voice using Audacity, you can do a sample data export. At which point, you will get a whole bunch of comma-separated value data about the waveform of your voice. Audacity is free, so you're welcome to download it. And I'm sure other programs have similar functionality. Set the file name to the name of the person who you're creating this data for. Otherwise it'll be a whole jumble, and you won't be able to work it out later from the waveform alone. Will you? That's a bit weird. You will now have a CSV of your voice. A digital representation of a very analogue thing. Just saying, okay, now I have a list of numbers. How do I turn that into a waveform? I created a very basic tool to turn that data into an SVG waveform, and there'll be a link to that in the description below. If it's not available at the time that you're watching this video, feel free to contact myself or Diana. We can both help you on this front. Once you've generated your waveform, copy the SVG from the source of the web page and save it as an SVG file. You can do this in Notepad, Notepad++, or any other simple text editor. For the next stage, however, you will require a vector program such as Inkscape. Inkscape has a very useful feature called the Hershey Text Renderer, and you'll see that you can paste in all of the text that you so desire. I put in the names with hyphen breaks for the syllables, and I put in the IPA name. You'll note that most of the IPA symbols are not available in Hershey Text. I created a whole bunch of single-line IPA symbols for this project, and I'll put those out later. There'll be a link in the description when it's available. Then finally, drag in your waveform SVG and make it the right size for your document. And that's everything you need on the page. Space things out. 
For each syllable, I wanted it to correspond to its position on the waveform. So move around the paths, ensure the hyphen that separates the syllables is between the two pairs of letters, and make sure that your IPA word is at the top in the center, or wherever you want it. That's just how I wanted it. You can make it however you want. Then repeat that process for every single name you want to make. It is a manual and laborious process, but that's enough about the technical jargon. Let's take a look at the machine. That's what you came here for. Back to Cambridge. But that's going to do it for this video, some successful drawings that didn't take a ridiculous amount of time. A unique machine created by a unique lady. Diana, where can they find more of your stuff? The best place to contact me is on Twitter, 
my name is almost unique on the internet, so twitter.com slash Diana Probst, or dianaprobst.com, or Probst of Cambridge on Instagram, or portray on Diana Probst. That was very businesslike. I'll just uh, litter some names like just right over here, that way they can't see you. Okay, I'll put them over here. She accepts money as well as tea. It's your choice, Ray. Really. But until the next video, I'm Raven, and that's all from the lair. And then I'll tell them. I'll draw with it. You draw with it. We all draw with it. Drawings for everyone. Well, not everyone. Oh, come on. Everyone deserves a drawing. It took us about imaginary watch eight hours to do that. <laughs> It took uh, us real watch slightly under seven hours to do slightly over thirty. We could make drawings for the whole world, Raven. Seven trillion. Possibly seven billion. We might run out of ink, you're right. There aren't enough pens in the world. Or Sad. forests. Sad. I'm going with this one. Yeah, this got awkward. How do we get the waveform? Using Audacity's sample data export function, and a little converter that I knocked up, and a bell chiming right in the background. Thank you!